Hi, I'm Dr. Simmons, and today I'm making orange pineapple donuts. So I'm going to start out with some pre-sifted flour, all-purpose flour, and I've already sifted most of it. Just finishing up the last little bit here. So I had three cups of that all-purpose flour, and now I'm going to add in two teaspoons of baking soda. This will be a base, and it's going to react with lemon, which is the acid, and that will help to make carbon dioxide bubbles, which will cause the leavening effect to make the donuts rise. The lemon also has vitamin C, which is good for immunity, and it's an antioxidant, and it provides a great flavor. I already see some of the bubbles starting to form in there, starting to come up. Now I like to save the lemon peels because they're good for cleaning. And I use this little coffee filter to help catch any seeds that might fall out. I use the baking soda and lemon combination in place of yeast for the leavening effect. And in place of lemon, I could use cream of tartar or vinegar to react with the baking soda. All right, I've got lots of bubbles forming here. So that is great, they're really going strong. So I'm gonna save those lemon peels. Now I'm gonna add in a cup of chopped fresh pineapple. Now pineapple has a lot of vitamin C and that's that antioxidant that's good for immunity. But it also has something called bromelain. And bromelain is a digestive enzyme that breaks down proteins. So when I'm chopping up the pineapple, if I'm actually chopping up a whole lot of it, sometimes I might wanna wear gloves because the bromelain can start to react with the proteins on the hand and start to break down the proteins in the hand and actually kind of cause some stinging or burning on the hands. Now that doesn't happen with the orange. I'm adding in a cup of freshly cut up orange and that's because they're different families. So orange and pineapple kind of seem similar and in some ways they are in that they have, both have a lot of that vitamin C. So that's a really good power pack for immunity. But pineapple is in the bromeliad family and the orange is in a, a different family with other citrus fruits. So they have some differences there. And so the orange doesn't have that bromelain and it doesn't cause that burning feeling on the hands. But it does have a lot of antioxidants. And one of those that's in particular for the orange is called naringenin. And that's supposed to help with blood vessel functioning, which can help with blood pressure and cardiovascular health all around. So that's great. So now I'm gonna add in a little bit of a sweetener with honey, a half a cup of honey. And honey's kind of sticky, so I kind of eyeball that rather than putting it in a measuring cup. But the honey has a lot of antioxidants and minerals, and it's actually sweeter than table sugar, so I can use less of any amount of sugar that might be called for in a recipe. But it has a lower glycemic index, so it doesn't cause a big spike in blood sugar. So that's really nice for blood sugar regulation. Another source of sweetness is vanilla, and I'm going to put in a teaspoon of vanilla. I like to make sure I have the pure vanilla extract, not any kind of just vanilla flavoring or anything like that, but just the pure vanilla extract. And I try to get organic when possible. So it adds a little bit of a sweet flavor, and it's also soothing to the limbic system in the brain. And so now I'm gonna add a little, just a dash of salt, and this will just help for an even baking. And one cup of milk, and I like to use milk that has DHA omega-3 fatty acids in it because those are good heart-healthy fatty acids. 
And now I'm going to put in one egg, which will be a good source of protein. And it has a little bit of a lift effect, a leavening effect for the donuts as well. So I'm gonna mix all of this together and get it thoroughly all mixed. And then we'll come back in a little bit to see what's next. Oh, I forgot two tablespoons of butter need to go in as well. Butter has butyrate, which is a short chain fatty acid that's good for decreasing gut inflammation. So I don't wanna forget it. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I have already been filling in the donut trays with the batter. And I used a handy little tool here, which is this pastry bag. And that way I could get it around the circle without spilling too much of it. And I found in life that with the right tool, you can do anything. And I learned that really well when I was in medical school at Yale on my surgery rotation. And as a medical student, my job was often to hold the retractor to open the abdominal cavity where the surgery was occurring. And that can take a lot of strength and be very tiring, especially during a long surgery. And it prevents me from being able to do other things during the surgery. And I remember one of my surgeons said, why are we struggling when we have a tool for this? And he had a tool that could actually hold the abdominal cavity open so that I didn't have to do it with the retractor. And it made things so much easier. And so I always remember that, don't struggle, find the right tool. So I'm going to take these and put them in the oven and check back when they're ready. All right, so the donuts are done. They cooked at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. They look really adorable. I've already started putting some on the cooling rack. It's gonna make a convenient breakfast and I've found that a key to helping me stay on track for eating healthier is to have convenient homemade foods that are easily accessible, especially when I'm on the go. So this will be a great, convenient breakfast. I'm Dr. Simmons, living a healthier and better life.